If you can just look at the screen. Sure, I can. <coughs> okay. And Mr. Lowry, you saw, have you seen these excerpts I from have. the transcript? I have. Have we gone through them together in preparation for your testimony? Yes. Okay. All right. So if you can just read there on page five, starting at line 18 and down to line 25. So I just kind of sat there for a minute and didn't really know what to do. And he was, and then he was trucking. So I mean, he closed in on me quick. And as soon as he got up to me, I overshot the road. I was kind of angled. I overshot the road and forced him to go down into the ditch right there. I say, okay. And then Mr. Bryan says, I don't know if he went through. Okay. So starting from line 18, who is talking there? Uh, Mr. Bryan. Okay. So he's saying he kind of angled and then overshot the road and forced uh, Ahmad to go into a ditch. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And which road are we on here? Uh, which road is he talking about, Mr. Bryan? I think this is still on Burford. Burford Road. Okay. Is that right outside his driveway? Yes. Okay. So let's now talk about the second incident with Mr. Brian and Ahmad. If you can just read here, starting from line one. The water or over it or what, but he bounced around me. So I was hanging on pretty good. And I think I backed up into my driveway and came back this way. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you there. Is this page a continuation of the one that we just went over? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, so can you start then reading from 25 and then go straight on to this second page? I can. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bryan says, I don't know if he went through the water or over it or what, but he bounced around me, so I was hanging on pretty good, and I think I backed up into my driveway and came back this way. Okay, and what do you say? I say, okay, and then Mr. Bryan says, and I angled my truck at him again. I think he kind of turned around. I missed him or whatever, but that's when he, I told the other officer this, we were still right about in this area right here. And okay. I say, mm-hmm. Okay, so this second incident here when Mr. Bryan is talking about angling my truck at him again, which road are we on, are they on with this second incident? I believe this is still on Burford, just maybe a little bit further down. Okay, so Burford Road. <coughs> Leading your characterization, second incident. I, I, that wasn't what the witness said. Okay. So when we talk about second incident, Mr. Lowry, what are we talking about? What are we referencing? Uh, the the second time that Mr. Bryan would have tried to use his vehicle to steer Mr. Aubrey off the road. Okay. Um, from your interview with Mr. Bryan, was there a third time he tried to do that? Um, yes. Okay, let's talk about that. Okay, so looking at, let me see what page we're on here. Page six, lines 11 through 20. Can you go ahead and read that, please? I can. Uh, Mr. Bryan says, not back to the road that it happened on yet. I think I backed up and kind of went at him a little bit, and I can see that he was coming towards the truck. I mean, I had my window down. He was coming. He was trying to get in the truck at that point, so I slammed it in a drive and jumped out away from him. I mean, and me and the other officer looked. My truck's dirty. You can see where his hands were on the side, almost at the door, where he was, you know, trying to get it open, so. Okay. So here, when Mr. Bryan says, not back to the road that it happened on yet, which road did it happen on, meaning the incident? Uh, Holmes Road. Okay. So at this point, Mr. Bryan's saying he's not back on that road yet. So which road was Mr. Bryan on when this happened? Uh, still Burford. Burford Road. Is there um, another time in the interview that Mr. Bryan doubles back to talk about here again with his belief that the victim tried to get into his truck? I 
object to the characterization doubles back. Can we find another way to ask that question that's a little less loaded? I, I can, I can try. So Mr. Lowry, does during the course of your interview with Mr. Bryan, does he mention for a second time that his belief that the victim tried to get into his truck? I, I don't believe if he mentioned it a second, you're talking about during the, the sit down interview, he did say it there, yes. Okay. I just, I don't remember if that was the first or a second time. Okay, so go ahead and look in your transcript don't read anything, just look to refresh your recollection at page 18, lines 1 through 13. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, so in this quote that we just read, Mr. Bryan is talking about backing up and going at the victim. Um, and, and saying his belief that the victim was trying to get into his truck, right? To object to the, to the leading going at? Well, well, that's what he's saying here. I don't believe, I don't think she's got that correct. The transcript's on the screen, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, the transcript is what reflects the statement of the defendant. Go ahead. Okay. So Mr. Bryan, again, mentioned something about the victim, his belief that the victim was going into his truck on page 18, right? Yes. Okay, so let's look at that one. If you can just read that, starting from line one, going to line 13. Okay. I say, okay, all right, and you said that you had, you had handprints on your truck from where the guy was trying to get into it. Mr. Bryan says, I feel pretty sure that's what he was doing. I mean, I can't say for sure that he, he wasn't on the door. I didn't give him a chance to get to the door, but after I angled him off the side of the road, you know, and I kind of went on past him because I didn't hit him, wish I would have, might have took him out and not get him shot. But you know, I probably got past him a little bit and he come up on me and I could see him in my mirror and he was coming for the door and I seen his hands on right behind the door. Okay, so in this one, Mr. Bryan's talking about wishing he had hit the victim, right? Yes. Okay. Now, was there a fourth incident where Mr. Bryan is talking about making contact with the victim in the case? Uh, yes, I believe the one you're referring to is the, uh, the intersection of Holmes and Satilla or Holmes and Burford. Okay, so let's look at that one. So going to page 13, lines 9 through 25, go ahead and read that for us. Mr. Bryan says, I think I backed into my drive and then continued on Burford towards, and I say, the entrance, because you said you passed the road first. Mr. Bryan says, yeah, towards the entrance, towards the entrance, but I, 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 I confronted him, angled at him again before we got to the road he was laying on. I say, yeah. Mr. Bryan says, right at the house that's on the left hand side if you're headed towards the entrance of the neighborhood. And I say, you're talking about before that, before the intersection of the road where it actually happened on, and Mr. Bryan says right, and I say okay. Okay, so which street were they on when this happened? This would have still been Burford at the intersection of Holmes. Okay, so that corner there on Burford? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is there another time in your interview where Mr. Bryan talks about this incident that we just looked at again? Can you refresh me? I can. Go ahead and turn to page 14, lines 1 through 18. And just read it to yourself and let me know if your memory has been refreshed. Okay, yes. Okay, so at some point he kind of talked about that some more during the interview, right? Yes. Okay, let's look at that. So page 14, lines 1 through 18. Go ahead and read that, please. Uh, Mr. Bryan says, yes, I mean before <laughs> then, I angled at him again. I say, okay. Mr. Bryan says, and he jumped out of the way, and I went on past. 
And I say, and then you pass the intersection of the road that it actually took place on. And Mr. Bryan says, right. I say, did you back up or just U-turn because you said you, and then Mr. Bryan said, I was fixing, I put it in reverse and was going to back up at him. I say, mm-hmm. Mr. Bryan says, that's when he made his move to go down the road it happened on. And I say, okay, so you backed up and then turned down that road? And Mr. Bryan says, yep. Okay, so what area are they in, meaning Mr. Bryan and the victim? What area are they in right here when this is going on? I'm believing this is still the intersection of Burford and Holmes, or Burford where it turns into Satilla and Holmes. Okay, because Mr. Bryan is saying that um, he jumped out of the way and I went past him. And then when you pass the intersection of the road, it actually took place on, and then he says right. And what's the intersection where it took place? Uh, Burford and Holmes, or Satilla and Holmes. Satilla and Holmes, okay. And then you asked him, did you back up or just you turn? And Mr. Bryan says, I was fixing, I put it in reverse and, and was going to back up at him. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then Mr. Bryan says, and that's when he made his move to go down the road it happened on. And what road did it happen on? Holmes Road. Okay. So this right here is when the victim made his move to go down Holmes Road where he was ultimately killed. Yes. So was there another incident of attempted contact between Mr. Bryan and the victim? I'm going to go back to the leading. Was there another? Mine is a different objection, but I'll, I'll let you rule on it. Okay. Uh, that we're telling the, witness, uh, telling the witness the answer. We're not just referring to the number of the incident. I'm committed a little bit with the use of transcripts, so let's, if we're narrowing in on a portion of the transcript. Okay. So, yeah. Your Honor, we've been extremely patient, but there was a pretrial order regarding the overuse of the word victim. It can come out incidentally or by accident, but it is better to use the name of the person we're talking about. Victim is a characterization. It's just to be consistent here again. Yeah, <coughs> court's ruling is already in the record. So. I'll try to lessen my use of the word victim, Judge. So, um, Mr. Lowry, did something also happen from Mr. Bryan's statement on Holmes Road? Yes. Let's talk about that. Okay. So I want to point you to page 15. Actually, before we get there, page 7, lines 9 through 16. and ask you to read right here what's on the screen. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bryan says, all right, so I backed up and started going down that way. I think I angled at him again, kind of forced him off the road or something right in here, and he turned around. He turned around right here, the black guy did. He turned around maybe down this far or so, but he turned around and started running back the other way, and I pulled into a drive or something and started to turn around. I say, okay. And was there a continuation of things happening on Holmes Road? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about that. So now looking at page 15, lines 13 through 25. I'm sorry. I'm going to object to the characterization of continuing when these statements are eight pages apart. <clears throat> On from page, page 7 to page 15, it's a continuation. I'm just going to rephrase that. Okay. <clears throat> the last one, the last quote that we put up on the screen, was that the last thing that happened on Holmes Road? Not this one, but the one before. Oh, I'm sorry, could you sure. put it back? I'll, re I'll repeat it. You want me to put it back up here? Or just repeat it. Okay. Either way. Yeah, so... When we talked about this last quote, was that essentially the end of what happened on Holmes okay. Road? Okay. Did something happen after that? Yes. Let's talk about that. So going to page... Uh, yeah, I'm going to object. We need to clarify, since the state has already acknowledged that this has <coughs> gone through multiple times, are we, are we mixing together two different statements in the same statement? What are we doing here? 
object. I believe that's something we can talk to him about when we get him on cross. Right? Yeah, you can go ahead and clarify that. Go ahead. Clarify what no, no, said it could be clarified on cross. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, Mr. Lowry, can you please read page 15 from line 13 to, to 25? Yes. I say, so you went straight and missed the intersection. Mr. Bryan says, right. I say, and you were going to back up, Mr. Bryan says, and then I backed over on that other road. And I say, went up this road? And Mr. Bryan says, yeah. And he, at that point, he's still running from me. Okay, he's running from me, and I'm coming at him. But in any case, he turned around and started coming back. At that point, I think I may have angled at him again or something, but I didn't put much emphasis on it. I just wanted to get turned around. Okay. And what road is Mr. Bryan and Ahmad on when, when we see this happening? Uh, this is on Holmes Road. On Holmes Road, okay. And Mr. Bryan says, he's running from me and I'm coming at him. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, was there something else that happened on Holmes Road after what we just discussed? Um, yes, that was the shooting and the, the murder itself took place right after. Okay, um, and is there another portion of Mr. Bryant's interview where he talks about something leading up to that? And I'll direct you to refresh your recollection to page seven, lines 19 through 25. Yes. Seven, 19 through 25. You see it? Yes. Okay. So that, that was a yes, yes, Mr. Lowry? Okay, let's talk about that. Go ahead and read this to the jury. Mr. Bryan says, at this point, I didn't really know, but I got turned around good. And by that time is when I rounded that corner enough to see the black guy was right there, but really wasn't running anymore. Looked like at this point, like I say, he just had enough of the running and he was confronted. Okay. So Mr. Bryan is saying when he rounded the corner enough to see the black guy really wasn't running anymore. Is that correct? Yes. And it looked like at that point he was confronted. Who yes. Was, who was confronted? Uh, Mr. Arbery. 